Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass Algebra 2. In this video we're going to go over the focus point of a parabola by identifying what the focus and directors of a parabola are. Finding the focus given its vertex and directrix, then finding the equation of a parabola given its focus and directrix. So first let's let's go over what parabola uh, vertex, focus, and directrix all are and what they mean. So parabolas we've seen before, they have this U shape or they could be um, face down going this way and uh, that's just a quadratic equation when it's graphed. And notice the vertex is always the minimum or the maximum point of the parabola. So right here we have a vertex at 0 0.04. Parabola, yes we know it, but there's like an official definition that that we might not know about. So let's just go over that. So a parabola is technically a set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a given point. So that given point is the focus and a given line. That's the directrix. So don't worry, we'll, we'll go into more of what that is. There's also the equation of a parabola. So, so this is what that looks like. We got y equals one over two times b minus k times x minus a squared plus one half times b plus k. So this looks kind of crazy now, but um, but it, it'll we're gonna look at an example and it won't look so scary. And each thing here represents something. So the directrix represents k and the focus is a b. So in this case, if we wanted to find the equation of this parabola, we would use k equals two, and then we would use the focus a b for zero a and six b. So now now let's look at our focus and directrix. So we see that. Um, or if we have a focus at 0, 6, and a directrix k equals 2. So when we say the parabola has these equidistant points, what we really mean is every point on a parabola is equidistant to the focus and to the directrix. So if we look at the vertex at point 0, 4, and then we look at the focus, notice that it is 2 units away. So based on our definition, that just means that directrix from the same point, from the vertex, is also going to be two units away. So from the vertex, the focus is two new units away, and the directrix is two units in the opposite direction. So we see it here with the vertex, but it's actually for every point on the parabola, which is why this is so amazing. So if we wanted to look at, um, so here's just another picture so we can, of the same exact thing. We have the vertex at the same value, 0, 4, focus at 0, 6 directrix is at k equals 2 and we know that the segment from the distance from the vertex to the directrix is 2 the vertex to the focus is 2 and then if we were to met take out a ruler and look at every point along the parabola the same thing would be true so the distance from this point whatever this point may be to the focus is going to be the same as it from the parabola to the directrix so we're saying that this is equal to this. This is equal to this. And we could do that with any point along here. So if we kept going, we could draw a line here to this point. And then this line segment right here would be equal to this line segment that goes straight down and forms a perpendicular line. So that's what the focus and directrix of a parabola all mean. So I know this is a lot, but let's see how to answer these kinds of questions. So if we look at our first example, we need to find the focus of a parabola given that the vertex is 2, negative 1, and the directrix is k equals negative 3. So the vertex, remember, is always that point, the minimum or maximum, on our parabola. So if we have the vertex at 2, negative 1, so let's just label this vertex so we can keep track of everything, 2, comma, negative 1. And then the directrix is k equals negative 3. So 1, 2, 3. And then this is k equals negative 3, the direction. So something I forgot to mention about the focus versus the directrix is that the focus kind of falls inside the parabola. So if we look at this, so see how the focus is like inside the parabola and the directrix is on the outside of the minimum or maximum point. So if we see the directrix is below down here, we know that this is going to be an upward facing parabola. So we could just kind of sketch it like that. So we know that the focus is going to fall somewhere inside the parabola in here. 
So to find that value, we're just going to measure the distance between the vertex and the directrix. So see how one, two, there's two units here. So that means we're gonna have the focus two units on the opposite side inside that parabola. So if we go one, two, and this will be where our focus is. So what is this value here? So our focus is at two, one. So that's all we have to do. We just have to sketch it out a little bit, think about what shape our parabola is, and then just count the units that are opposite the, the vertex and directrix on the other side. So here we have two units, and then here we have two units. So if we now look at example number two, it says find the equation of a parabola given the focus is 2, 1, and the directrix k equals negative 3. So we're working with the same problem um, based on the focus that we found. In, this is really kind of like part B. So we found the focus in part A. And now we need to find the equation of the parabola. So we have to use this kind of crazy looking equation that we mentioned earlier in the video. But the great thing is like we have everything we need to enter into this equation. We need the focus, which is really like A, B to fill in. Because if you look at our variables here, we have Y and X, which is in every quadratic equation anyway. But then the new ones, B, K, and A. So we have A, B, K, and we have exactly the information we need to fill this in. So let's just write out, I'm just gonna write over here. So we have A is equal to two from the focus, B is equal to one, and K, the directrix, is equal to negative three. And now we're just gonna take our numbers and plug them in and do some arithmetic. So, so we have Y equals one over two times B minus K. So B is one minus K is negative three. So we'll just put that in parentheses. Times X minus A squared, so X minus a is two squared plus one half b plus k. So b is one plus k is negative three. So now we're just gonna simplify this until we get our answer. So one plus three, this is really like one plus three, which is four times two. So y equals one over eight. x minus two squared, we're gonna leave back the same. And then over here we have negative three plus one, so it's negative two divided by two is just gonna give us minus one. So now, um, just simplify this one more step, we get y equals one eight times x minus two squared minus one. And that's the equation of our parabola. And the cool thing about this is there's, there's multiple ways to check our answer to see if we're right. So if you wanted to, you could plug, you could plug in the vertex. The vertex, by the way, um, we went over what the vertex is, the minimum or maximum point, but you can also find it by looking at this equation here. It's always gonna be the negate this value and then leave this value the same. So the vertex is two comma negative one. So if we want to check ourselves, we can, we can plug this into our calculator. So let's do that. And we can see we get this upper facing parabola. And if we go to the table, we can look for our vertex to negative one, which matches what we have. So we know we are right. Which, yeah, in the vertex, we also were given that the first example. So we know that we are right, and that's our answer. So if you're looking for more, check out the practice questions right here. Answers are up on my blog, mathsucks.org. The link is in the description below. And if this video helped you, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by, and happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating.